Meghan Markle is feeling completely isolated, and she has no one to blame but herself. Prince Harry seemingly left her behind as he jetted alone to Botswana following his wife pulling a nasty PR stunt that went all wrong. Now, Meghan's mom is rushing to her side as Queen Elizabeth II is seemingly done playing games with the Duchess of Sussex and has sanctioned an aggressive plan to stop the former American actress. Don't miss this. Meghan Markle, now known as the Duchess of Sussex, is in a hot mess. Her big mistake happened at the very beginning of her courtship with Prince Harry. Meghan left her father, Thomas Markle, to fend for himself amongst the feeding frenzy of the British media even after Harry's private secretary, Edward Lane Fox, warned her this would all lead to disaster. We now know that Meghan treated her father like dirt, while her mother was given the royal treatment. Thomas Markle claims Doria Ragland was presented with the gold embossed royal engagement announcement and coveted royal wedding invitation by two representatives of the British consulate, while he got nothing. No one came to my door in Mexico. I never got a wedding invitation, and I would have liked the engagement announcement too. Royal insiders astutely pointed out back in May that the former American actress was playing games and never intended on her father getting anywhere near the royal wedding. Meghan even told her father there would be no room for the traditional father of the bride speech. The Queen was told by her aides that Meghan was handling the arrangements for her father. Her Majesty now knows that was a lie. Then, right after the wedding, Meghan completely cut off her father from any contact with her, claiming the Emmy Award winning lighting director had broken the rules and talked to the press. Mr. Markle points out he felt he had no choice since his beloved daughter had ghosted him from her life. A palisade involved in the arrangements for Prince William's wedding to Kate Middleton in 2011 certainly believes that the handling of Mr. Markle has been inept. The aide told the U.S., the perception is that he was treated very much as an afterthought. No one went to visit him when the answer would have been to have someone fly out from London and explain to him how things were going to happen. Prince William's royal aide added, the trouble stemmed from well before the wedding when there must have been an opportunity for Harry and Meghan to pay a private visit to her father. This was long before he started giving interviews. Even British citizens are tired of the Duchess of Sussex's shenanigans. They booed Meghan loudly as she passed by riding in a carriage. The tide is turned inside the royal family also. These so called leaks from Palisades say it all. The Queen no longer sees Meghan as the victim of her father. This royal family fiasco playing out in the press is not acceptable to Queen Elizabeth II at all. And it's quite telling that the sympathy coming from palace employees has shifted from Meghan to her father. Make no mistake, that's not by accident. It's also no accident that Harry took off for Botswana alone just as Meghan's close friend talked at length to the Daily Mail saying Thomas Markle is a narcissist while claiming Meghan doesn't have a mean bone in her body. It seems the jig is up for poor Meghan. Her Majesty has given the green light for Kensington Palace to issue warnings to the Duchess of Sussex. The palace, who normally takes a firm policy of not commenting on personal matters, is now considering a more aggressive strategy to deal with the situation Meghan's bad family press. They add, Kensington Palace are reportedly on the verge of taking a more aggressive strategy in response. Now, let's break down the message coming from the Queen via Palisades. The really telling aspect is the shift in sympathy coming from Buckingham Palace to Thomas Markle, and the real message is the Queen has sanctioned an aggressive strategy to stop the one person she can, Meghan Markle. The Queen has gotten her own aides to correct the record publicly on who is really to blame for this media firestorm, the Duchess of Sussex. The British monarch's aides also leaked via the Daily Mail. How this situation has been allowed to unravel, and so publicly, is certain to dominate the conversation at Balmoral, where the Queen and other members of the royal family are gathering for their summer holiday. Bingo! You bet Balmoral Castle is on fire right now as the Queen and her courtiers plan their aggressive response. Which brings us to the other big news coming from Camp Meghan. Just as the news was breaking that the Queen no longer sees Meghan as the poor victim and Her Majesty will be taking action to correct this mess, Doria Ragland is now reported to be moving to the U.K. as soon as possible. Meghan started this by using the press as her personal PR machine making herself out to be the poor innocent victim which inflamed the already disastrous situation with her father. Queen Elizabeth, in turn, is now sending out her own message to the Duchess of Sussex, get ready for an aggressive response. 
Her Majesty doesn't take kindly to her grandson jetting off feeling betrayed by Meghan's PR stunts, and she is aware most of the British citizens aren't buying Meghan's for a victim status. Nor does she care for British citizens booing a member of the royal family. The Duchess of Sussex is rooted up, and you can bet that part of that aggressive response will be the Queen ghosting Meghan from the limelight and making sure her royal duties are as insignificant as possible.